Hi, I'm Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. When you're looking at ready-made clothing, have you ever wondered how they get such a perfectly folded and stitched narrow hem, like you see on shirts and blouses and other clothing using sheer fabrics? Well, here's how they do it. It's because they're using a narrow hammer foot. What's unique about this presser foot is this piece right here in front has a couple of little pieces of metal that come out and swirl around so as you feed your fabric through in here it lifts it up tucks it under and then back here where your needle goes through it stitches it down so you get this perfectly folded narrow hem so as I'm demonstrating it, I'm focusing right up here in the very, very front. So let's get started. Here is the front side of my fabric. So you need to turn it over to where the back side of your fabric is up. To get the hammer foot to begin folding your fabric and stitching on it, you first need to pre-fold the end of it just a little bit so fold it over a narrow quarter of an inch and I use my fingernail to give it a press okay and then you would fold it over one more time and I would try to do about two inches I found I had better results if I did it for about two inches then take this folded edge here and put it underneath the back part of the presser foot and go ahead and lower your presser foot down. Oops, I need to go back a little farther. There we go. And over just a little bit more. Okay, and get your needle in there. I just let it do a stitch or two. Then take a pair of tweezers. I always have tweezers at my sewing machine. I use it to thread my needle. I use it for so many things. So I'm going to take this folded edge that I've already started and I'm going to lift it up over this little front piece right here in the middle. Lift it up so that it goes up and over that curved edge. And it sometimes takes a second. There it is. I got it. Now you want to take one finger from each hand and push against it like this to help guide it underneath that narrow hammer foot and just go slow. Now this takes a little practice. I find it didn't come real quick for me so I once I practice with it a little bit it really does a fantastic job makes your edges look incredibly professional and it's better than trying to do press and stitch and press and stitch trying to get it to look really really professional looking. Okay, and there you go. There is your, whoops, here we go. Can you see it? Here is your narrow hem, and here it is from the other side. And then afterwards, all you need to do is just give it a good pressing, and then it's done. I'm now going to show you something else that you can do with this narrow hemmer foot. I'm going to put this little lacy ruffle trim into the hem. Sometimes you've seen this on children's clothing to where they have a slight little ruffle, <clears throat> excuse me, around the neckline. So that's what I'm gonna do. But this time you're gonna have the front side of your fabric up. You're gonna fold over the edge twice, just like you did in the previous demonstration. And then you're gonna take this part of the ruffle and insert it underneath that fold and fold the edge or the um, little hem there right over it. Then insert it in the back part of the uh, presser foot, lower your needle in, and then take your tweezers, pick up just the fabric and pull it up over again over that curved piece and this time you're going to push the little ruffle underneath the fabric from this side and this side with my right hand you're going to fold the fabric over 
So takes a little practice, so make sure you practice on scrap fabric first before you try doing it on your real project. And again, just go slow. Now this a ruffle here has kind of a curve to it, so you kind of need to straighten the ruffle out a little bit as you go along. And just stitch that in there. Take your time and adjust it when you need to. I'll do just a little bit more for you. And just a tiny bit more. Okay, let me take it out so you can see what it looks like. And there you go. You have it inside of your hem and it's a nice little feature that you can use when doing little uh, ruffle edges like this on clothing. Now suggestions from wh for where you can get this little hammer foot. I purchased mine off of Amazon.com. Now I have a very expensive sewing machine so all the presser feet for my machine can be a little pricey. I think I spent about $25 for this foot. It might have been just a little bit more. But what you want to do is either go to your sewing machine store and have them order one for your machine or go on to Amazon.com, enter narrow hammer foot, and then at the end of that, put the name of your sewing machine and various options will come up. You might have to purchase what they call is a universal hammer foot, which means it will fit a variety of sewing machines. But remember, not all presser feet fit all sewing machines, so make sure you read the description carefully. Now, if you liked this video, click on that old thumbs up button. And click on share to share this video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red button down there in the lower right hand portion of your screen. Don't forget to enter your email address and click on that little bell notification so that you will receive emails about my latest video. I'm Cheryl and I'm so glad you came to my sewing room. I'll see you next time and don't forget, happy sewing!